we really need some coffee otherwise there's no way that we can start the day <laughs> Coffee, please save Ollie. <laughs> please. We have coffee. We are alive. <laughs> Good morning, world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 387 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Where's Bumblebee? Oh, just behind. <laughs> We're here in the town of Loreto in Mexico on the Baja California Peninsula and we camped here under these beautiful palm trees and we're like literally a couple of blocks from the sea. It's beautiful here but it's only gonna get more beautiful and I can't wait to see what's ahead. Let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here and today we're gonna be continuing our way up the Baja California Peninsula towards the town of Ensenada. Yes, we are hoping to make it today halfway to Ensenada, but it's a long way to go. We have still to pack up everything and it's already 7.30, so better hit the road, let's go. So one of the most important things before we leaving to leave our signature behind. <laughs> so they have this nice washing machine here with a lot of stickers already. So I think we will just go here then. Yes, love you, Dolly. On the washing machine of fame. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and this camping here was actually really nice. Like they have very clean and nice toilets here and we had a shower here as well yesterday i feel really refreshed for a campsite that cheap like 10 pounds wow i'm really impressed see you guys nice to meet you yep okay. see you later guys see you later yeah yeah all, all good. right rock and roll Hitting the road. Woo! Let's check out the seafront. <laughs> yes, we can actually go through. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Nice one. It's the benefit of the bike. For sure. Wow, look how beautiful, hey? How yeah, cool. beautiful. So calm water, just these like little boats floating around. That is absolutely spectacular. First thing, we have to do a little bit of shopping. Yeah, we need some supplies because it's very likely that we'll be camping tonight. We haven't made a plan exactly, but there's quite a remote area we're heading into of the Baja Peninsula. And apparently there aren't very many places to stay. And there's like large, large distances in between each like town or rest stop. So it might be the case that we finish the day and there just isn't anywhere. And then we'll just pitch up the tent somewhere. We will see. But yeah, there's a supermarket here in Mexico called Orero Bodega. I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, this has been our reliable source of tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> so I will head in now and see what I can find. <laughs> uh oh, what have you got? Well, I try to be very efficient and very fast because the supermarket is actually quite big. So the standard. Three haulers. Yes. Tomato. Oh yeah. I bought some bread. Oh, beloved pineapple. Yeah. Whoa. A beheaded pineapple. Avocados. Yes. Our dinner. <laughs> and because we didn't have any breakfast, I'm super hungry. We're gonna so, have a yogurt. Yes. Thank you. Pineapple <laughs> cocoa. Yummy. Yummy. Look at this, just coming out of Loreto, and it's already an incredibly pretty ride. Look at these cactuses. Yeah, and also the colors in general, like this yellow and orange. Wow, I'm so impressed how pretty it is. You've got all these vultures circling around as well. That's very like 
Wild West, hey? Really cool. Yeah. down because there's a whole bunch of goats here and they might just run out in the road. Goaty goaty. Having such a good time. Oh good morning guys. Oh there's a dog there as well. Oh. What is that dog doing there? Wow what a view. We have just reached Bahia Concepcion, Concepcion Bay which is just up ahead. You can see the deep blue of the water. It just looks stunning. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, I saw it on the map, but I thought it's like way smaller than that. Yeah, it's like this big sort of like peninsula that sticks out. Incredible. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, maybe if you can stop somewhere. I think I can see some dolphins. Okay, can okay. Can you stop okay. here? Yep, yep, yep. Oh wow, you're right. No way! Oh. <laughs> nice! And there is a pot of dolphins just down there at the bottom. That is spectacular, wow. How long has it been since we've seen dolphins? I think as well, like up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's like six or seven of them. So cool, I love that so much. Is venti para eso? Oh, okay. Gracias. Can I have a cup? Yep. Thank you. Perfecto, gracias. Power for the road. So we're just stopping for a little break, our first break of the day. We wanted to get 100 miles, but we've only done 85 because we kept stopping. <laughs> if you don't stop at all, what's the point, hey? What's the point? What's the point in moving if you don't stop? That's what I always say. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense, hey? So we're just going to have some cheese sandwiches, bit of pineapple, bit of avocado. It's going to be beautiful. So far, I've been super, super impressed with this ride today. I mean, already in the first like 
86 miles of the ride, we've been through this amazing canyon area with cactuses, but also going past Conception Bay and these little inlets and beaches and dolphins. What do you want more in life? <laughs> yeah, we're only like a quarter of the ride in and it's already been absolutely spectacular. Yeah. And I'm just loving riding in Baja. So uh, we're just arriving in a small town called San Ignacio and uh, there's supposed to be a really nice church here. I saw on Facebook a couple who were traveling down Baja and they posted a picture and I thought, yeah, when we get there, let's go stop and see that church. So I think it's just here. Ah, uh, yes, this one right here, Mission San Ignacio. Oh, that looks really cool. Look at that. Yeah, very pretty. So this was a old Spanish mission. Wow. And yeah, we're gonna have to look up how old it is, but it looks really old. It does. It looks really pretty. I have information with the help of Google. So this mission was built in 1728 by the Jesuits. Apparently they also planted all of the date palms which are in this area because this area coming in was like covered in date palms. This whole area was. I'm just gonna have a little peek inside. Wow, cool. It's very nice and cool in here. Oh, lovely. Here's a little model of the whole place as well. Cool. Amazing. Yeah, really, really nice. And this whole area is pretty much like an oasis. There's a river running through here called the San Ignacio, the Rio San Ignacio. This is only one of two rivers that exist in Baja California Sur. So yeah, amazing green oasis in the middle of the Baja Desert. But now it's time for our favorite Mexican lunch. Some tacos. So we just met Benito here, and Benito is a rider as well, and he's got a sticker. What does your sticker say? Owls Mexicali. Owls Mexicali. Is that a club? Yes, is that a club? Ah. It's a, it's, a, it's a family club. And everybody's riding Harley Davidson? Yeah. Okay. Everybody, ha we have uh, Harley Davidson. That's cool. We have the perfect <laughs> spot for you, Benito, he right here. Yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. Oh wow, that looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you guys. <laughs> See ya. It was a nice little lunch break. Yeah, it was a good place to have a bit of a rest. Totally. Because we still have a long way to go. We just routed to the point that we would like to get to, which is the junction between the one and the five, where there's like a sort of truck stop area where we can camp for free, but uh, it's still 200 miles away. <laughs> oh God. And we've done 173 miles already today. Yeah. So I don't know. Google estimated it will take us four hours. So we will see how far we can get. It's two o'clock now. Well, we still got a lot of daylight, so we'll try our best. Yeah. But wow, look at this amazing palm forest around though. Absolutely amazing. And these were like mm -hmm. all planted by the Jesuits in the 1700s. Incredible. And those They had some forethought, didn't they? That's quite hard to say, forethought. Ah, and this is the river here, the Rio San Ignacio. Ah, oh, there's a pelican there. Wow. Ah, oh, it's so idyllic. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Not bad, Mexico, not bad. Yeah, I wasn't <laughs> expecting something like this today. <laughs> no. Villa Alberto Andres Alvarado Aramburu. And that's the actual name for the town? Apparently. All of those names? It looks like it, yes. That's what it says on the map. <laughs> yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> they probably just call it Villa. <laughs> another break, another taco. We've now been on the bike for eight hours and 20 minutes. 
and we've covered 265 miles and we're getting a bit tired now we decided to stop a little bit earlier than this junction that we were aiming for so we checked on iOverlander and there's a, like an abandoned house apparently abandoned building and behind there apparently there's an area where people often stopping it's one hour and 20 minutes from here 71 miles so we'll go and check out that spot and uh, see if it's suitable for tonight Bienvenidos a Baja California so I know we were already in Baja California but actually Baja the Baja Peninsula is split into two states Baja California South Baja California Sur and Baja California which is the north of Baja California how many times did I just say Baja California <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I miss already the cactuses all cactuses are gone it looks like that they like the south more than the north I don't know I think the cactuses are gonna make a comeback I think before we finish the day, there, are, there will be cactuses again. I hope so, because I didn't say goodbye. Okay, we'll find them. So the landscape has really opened up now and it's become super, super windy. It's really starting to feel like Patagonia all over again. We're pretty much next to the coast, which is just over there. But yeah, not so enjoyable a ride anymore today. So. I'm kind of glad we're stopping a little bit early. Your cactus friends are back. Yay! These cactuses are like almost taller than they were before. Look at them. They look absolutely massive. Yeah, apparently we might be spending the night with them because the place where we're going to be staying is just a mile up ahead. But I tell you what, my neck is killing me from the wind. It was so windy, oh my god. So crazy windy. So crazy windy. And I'm freezing cold. Yeah, so apparently it's coming up on the right side. On the right side, okay. Yeah, in 0 0.4. 0 0.4. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah. They're just checking there's no fence here, no? Yeah. Wow, it's like literally going to be camping in between these giant cactuses. That's actually really cool. It is actually really cool. So it looks like this house was under construction, but according to the comments, it's been abandoned for years. Wow. And so behind it is this nice flat area just here. Incredible. And oh my god, it's not just giant cactuses, but look at these crazy, I don't know, is it a tree? Is it a cactus? I don't even know. What is this thing? Look at this. <laughs> I've literally, I've never seen anything like this. Look at it. It's like a tree, but with tiny little thorny branches. Wow, look. It's like a, another world landscape. It's like you land on another planet. Yeah. And these are like plants from another planet. Yeah. <laughs> Such a weird plant. Wow, look how tall this one is. That really has to be one of the largest ones we've seen so far. Look at that. That is like at least six, seven, eight, maybe even ten meters tall. Don't want to fall over a cactus. Wow. Okay, that is absolutely massive. I mean, that's got to be up there as nearly the, one of the biggest cactuses in the whole world. It's like a freaking botanical garden around here. Seriously, this is like the cactus room at Kew Gardens. It's so beautiful. It's crazy. Wow. <sighs> cool. So I think, yeah, we just got to find ourselves a nice spot, pitch up our tent, stay amongst all of the crazy plants. Yeah.
Feed Alive! Welcome to the Cactus Paradise! Yeah, this place is absolutely awesome. Such a cool place to camp amongst this guy and this one and that massive one and it's just crazy. Yeah, we just took a walk around here and there are so many different types of cactuses. It's insane, really. I'm so glad that we found this spot. It's so nice. I mean, it is next to the highway, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. No, no, and anyway, it doesn't seem like it's going to be pretty busy overnight. So I think it's going to be a really, really nice night. So after a long day, this is an awesome place to finish it. Yeah, I'm super happy as well. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. We will see you next time.